This is a demo of the Foot Millionaire Auto Buyer. So in the first screen, we've got to register the program. I'm going to use my Foot Millionaire username, which is also my email. Then my FIFA account email, and I'm going to copy, paste my license key, and click register. After the program is registered, your EA email appears set, and now I'm going to insert my FIFA password and security answer so that the program can log in and trade on your behalf. And you click Log In. Okay, it's done. So now we're going to go to the Settings window to look over the options. The first one is Log to File, which means that the auto buyer will create a text log of all your trades. The sleep time is the time the program will take between searches. Trade pile size should match the one in your account. Below, you can find the auto buyer speed. The default for this version we are analyzing right now is 20, and we always recommend that for security reasons, you use the default speed or below. The Don't Buy option, if checked, will make the auto buyer stop buying autumns and just list and relist your transfer list items until all are sold. This is the Don't Sell option. It's used when you want to buy a particular player and you don't want to sell it. This is used when you want to buy an item for your team that you don't wish to sell right away. Stop bidding if trade pile is full is pretty self-explanatory and we definitely recommend that you use this on as an extra security feature. The relist all items when checked will relist all the items in your transfer list, even if they are not currently in your auto buyer inventory. The Time Left Filter option is an option used when you're bidding, and you want to avoid bidding on items with a lot of time left. Using this option, you only bid on auctions nearing the end. Max Bought Bidded Items Per Minute is used if you want to limit how many items you bought per minute. Auction Duration is where you choose the length of the auctions of the items that the program will place in the market. We recommend that you choose one hour, as items usually sell faster that way. And finally, we have the Minimal Coins, which is another security feature where you can get the program to stop trading if a certain minimum number of coins is reached, so you don't spend more coins than that. So we have the settings, and now we go to our buyer inventory and add a few items. So just as a quick demo, I'm going to add contracts. I'm going to choose gold and the cheapest ones. And I'm going to try to get them at the lowest buy now possible, at 200 and list them at 300. For pages searched, we're going to use 15. And we're also going to put a player. In this case, I'm going to choose Micah Richards, who is a very pacey English CB, which should be an easy player to sell. In the price, I'll use some random prices as we are going to use the price auto updater to calculate the correct ones. For pages searched, we're going to use 10 and click Add. Now, notice how I'm unchecking the bill icon on the contracts as I don't want a price auto updater to calculate the price on that item as I already know the prices I want to use. So now we quickly go to the price auto updater, set our buy and sell ranges so that the module can calculate the correct market prices for us. So I'm using 0.85 buy and 1.2 sell in this case, and I click the update now and we're waiting for it to calculate the correct prices, and it's done. Now we're ready. We go to the trading window and start the auto buyer. As you can see, it immediately upon starting listed eight items that were on my transfer list, and now it's searching. And it's now found and bought the first contract. And now we got a Micah Richards at 2200, and I know at the time I'm recording this, Micah Richards can be sold for around 4,000, so we just made almost 2,000 coins in just two minutes. And it's buying more and more contracts cards. We've already now bought six and sold two, and it's just been a couple of minutes.
and we're up to 10 contracts now, bought at 200, which will all be sold at 300. Now guys, I'm positive I could even sell these at 350 with just a little more time, but the key to making coins with an auto buyer is to keep the coins flowing, get it? Buy and sell a lot of items and don't go for huge profits. Go for lots of small profits as those will make up a bigger pile of coins in the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed this demo and I hope to see you inside the trading center soon.